Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome back to Mass Effects 2 Legendary Edition Insanity Mode. Words, 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 words. In the last one, I was genuinely sexually harassed by pixels, and now I can't escape from Jack's fucking chambers. She's locked me in, she's starving me, and the only sustenance she provides dwells within her tubes. And I'd literally rather eat my own legs with nothing but a fucking soggy chip shop plastic spork than even consider one taste of that magical biotic, uh, clam soup. You don't spend several years at a cult and come out, come out of it with a high standard of cleanliness. My mouth is not your personal douche vessel. One wrong step, Shepard. It's Tali's personal douche vessel. Except, you know, the vessel can kill Tali. Probably, hopefully not. That's why we need Morden, but it'll only talk to me about Jack's vagina. It's the worst. I hate it. Let's talk to this guy. made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. I'm sorry, I need to be an absolute you. bastard as much Thanks as possible right now. Scout. Saves me having to train another one. I need Talk all the later. options in the world. And most of them Please involve st the swinging pitch. my massive dick and or guns around as often as possible. How much? I don't know why I bought these guys, by the way. We all know they're useless. Me, I don't like this. There's no bookie. Just a terminal. You lose the human element. Just because you want to be able to the threaten them if you lose. Slow dogs always fight harder. <laughs> what the fuck do you- Slow! You mean the mentally ill because they don't know any better and probably can't feel pain. Myself looks really silent. And it fit in my hand perfectly. Maybe when we're Why done is it Krogan? Maybe I could come back and recover a thing or two. No, 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 Kasumi. You've got more than enough knives back on the fucking Normandy. You're incredibly good at slicing up vegetables, and no, I don't mean stabbing cripples. That's wrong. Stay back! That's Zaid's job. You're not gonna fall as far as him. I think I'm still allowed to do Paragon things around you, and it doesn't, you know, make you sad. Uh, is there any point talking to the Obercats? Probably not, and I'm done with listening to Char. But yeah, for people on video, I, I just kind of realized that, um, I never turned in the, ch the like, this missing scout mission or whatever. And there's also something I didn't turn in on Ilium or Omega. I think it was on Omega, but we don't really care about that anyway. We're gonna go back to Ilium, um, for Liara reasons at some point. I can't remember what the fuck was on Omega, but it, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. We'll go back eventually. But for now, for now, we gotta free up our enslaved Wang. We gotta shake off the fucking freeway handcuffs. So that's really bad. Like, what if I wanna scratch my nose? If I wanna scratch my nose, I might yank my entire dick off. But this is where the migrant fleet are just hanging out? They've got a double sun. They got a double sun that's just flying right into it. They've had a fucking enough. Where are we? Rahil Leia. We could also go to Paz and Micah. Which is what I'm gonna do first, because I I don't I don't I I, I don't want to do it yet. I'm nervous, man. She is the greatest in the entire series, and I just I can't be around her yet, man. Launching probe. Shepard's the embodiment, the the humanization, the anthropomorphized version of like the is for me emote, and he always will be. Except the is for me is like Tali's Launching entire probe. being. He owns her now, because he is the captain, and that is how relationships work Probe launched. within the workplace. It's fantastic. I'm her boss. She basically has to. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? There's so much Probe stuff. Launched. Thank you, Garvug. I mean, I'm sure the migrant fleet is probably here, so they can mine this shit out and actually have something decent for once. Ooh! In 344, remember when people said common era instead of AD? Or maybe that's just the thing that they're doing. Was that happening in 2007? Or was that just like what they're doing in terms of Mass Effect? This common era was like because they got rid of like BC and Ad Dominum or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, because it's like, ah, oh, it's too Jesus y, we gotta be progressive. But then everyone was like, we, we just don't care. Uh, so they went back to BC and AD. Garfu was considered a bargain world, given to the Krogan to placate them. Placate, placate, pla I will never get placate! Them because no one else wanted to live on such a frozen rock. Technically a life-bearing world, Garvuk is a small farm belt around its equator, and well-insulated marine life in its seas. Just want to make sure that I'm actually 
Let's make sure I'm streaming okay. Yeah, I'm very, very paranoid about everything being broken today. Most- as soon as one thing goes wrong, like my screechy droney headset, I assume everything's gonna go fucking wrong. So thank you so much, Scott, for the gift subs and the donations at the start of the stream. That's gonna go a long way for me being able to actually afford, you know, intact ears by the end of the stream. Mm. And it's quite a well-insulated marine life in its seas. By the turn of the century, the Krogan had completely adapted. Breeding hundreds of younglings per family in a vast underground bunkers, and Rex had to cook all the fucking cookies. He is the only one capable, only one with the oven mitts cute enough. And I can't wait to bring him back on stream. Someone better summon him tonight. By the turn of the next century, Garbuk's narrow strips of coral reef had been destroyed by overfishing and pollutants. And excess Krogan took to the stars to find another planet to consume. Garbuk was treated as an object lesson by the Citadel Council. The Krogan could not be trusted to check their own numbers. Today, Garbuk is a frozen wasteland, home to a corporate co eco-engineering efforts, trying to implement sustainable agri- and aquaculture practices. Krogan and Vorcha packs are a constant threat. The corporations pay mercenaries well to keep their operations safe. So there's like tribal Krogan down here. If they're threats, they must have guns, but, well, I mean, all Krogan's, like, somewhat tribal, I guess, but I don't know. So, very, very primitive, even in comparison to, uh, to Chanka's Krogan, I imagine. Whoa, this one's a lot bigger. Only 14% done, so I, I don't think there can be very many places, but there's still quite a lot more than just in pass. Duma, you, you don't have anything I like. Go away. Home to 51 moons. That's, that's really great for you. Congratulations on all the moons, you rich fuck. I'm- I just woke up. <laughs> Give in my brain a few moments to just realize that we're live and realize that, uh, you're a human and should probably act that way. As much as you wish you were Krogan, as much as your Viking heritage makes you the closest goddamn thing, you still gotta be slightly normal. Otherwise you won't be able to afford a damn headset. Uh, Raheel system, Aloe is when the frost line. Statistically, a significant number of distress signals come from one million kilometer mark around Aloe. Pirates are believed to be working in the area. In-person tourism is not advised. What tourists are sent out to deal with fucking distress signals? Why did tourists become so absolutely terrifying? I guess in space, you know, everyone has to be armed. It's the law to be like a trained fucking murderer. Because if you're not, everyone dies. Sorry. Sorry for ruining your lovely vacation, Grandad. Launched. But we need you to commit a massacre for the good of the world. Away. Being human is overrated. Welcome, Boko. It's great to have you here, dude. How you doing? Did you finally manage to sleep after like two weeks or whatever the hell it ended up being? I hope you're doing good, dude. Where the fuck is that platinum? There's the platinum. Probe away. <laughs> oh man. Right, big sippy. I need all the monster in the world. That's the only way. Only way we're gonna survive this Watching one. Probe. <laughs> I, can't, I genuinely. So, for the people who weren't here at the start of the stream, or if I haven't mentioned it on video yet or something, I almost slept for 48 hours straight. I was getting up for like an hour at a time or whatever, thinking, like, right, this is the one. This is the one where we get up. Probe and then I was just, oh, okay, just a nap until it's time to stream. And I, I have literally slept about 48 hours. I missed a whole stream because of it. I don't know how this happened to me, because I'm a fucking insomniac, but I'm treating it like a good thing, but I also feel marginally insane. One of the trio of asteroids around an element zero core, far less the easiest to mine for low yield ESO. How low? That's fucking high! I mean, that, that's not bad at all. I will take, I will use it as my own. If it's an, if it's an ESO filled asteroid, we could probably throw this at someone. I'm sure the Normandy's powerful enough. If, like, a couple of thrusters were powerful enough launched. for X-52 and bring down the sky, then the Normandy itself could definitely drag a few fucking planets around. It's not that pussy. Yeah, death is fun. Yes, I slept for, for, but for, for far too long. Oh, shit. Were you like me? Did you pull at me? How long did you end up sleeping for? Because this is probably the longest I've ever slept in my whole fucking life. <laughs> I don't know how the hell it happened. Have you literally been asleep since I last saw you? That would be terrifying. Because mm. then I'd have to beat you for the record. I have to try and sleep even longer. Cuckabell. That sounds absolutely adorable. 
That sounds Monty like Pearl. a delicious mini cheese. It kind of looks like one as well. I want to slice through it, cut through the rind. See how truly delicious it is on the inside. Well See what its innards yield for me. A little bit of palladium, there we go. Don't care about the iridium. Sorry that you've come in on the most boring part of the game, Boca. <laughs> I need to do this just to make sure I don't run out before the end. Launching it's holy out. shit. Every time I think we've got enough to last the whole game, something comes along and costs me like a million of everything. <sighs> and it just makes me not want to read. And we're in like Quarian space and they're my favorite people. 30-ish hours, okay. That is, uh, it, it's not, it's not quite almost 40, but still 48, but still very, very terrifying. I hope you feel rested, dude, because somehow I've come out of all that sleep, and I feel worse than when I went in. <laughs> I feel more fucking tired. I don't understand. Sleep makes no fucking sense to me. Let's make our way to the migrant fleet. Oh my god, my boys! They all just look like pregnant snails. I love the Quarian ship. Ship, sir. A fleet of 50,000 craft, holding over 17 million Quarian. The migrant fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. The Quarians on pilgrimage have visited most settled worlds in the galaxy. Few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside the Quarian's ships. Who I bring, who I bring, who I bring. I bring Jack, so she can see me fall in love right before her stupid fucking eyes. No, I never ever want to look at her again, she's ruining my life. Uh, who's, like, the most upsetting to bring aboard a Quarian ship? Oh, it might just have to be Garrus. He might be too cute to avoid. Or Morden. What does Morden look like now? Oh, yeah, he's got, like, his weird leathery fucking burlesque gloves, doesn't he? He's gonna examine so many prostates, but I don't know if he'll make it inside of a Quarian suit. If they got backwards knees, you gotta assume there's a few kinks in the tubes as well. Oh! We have shiny black Garrus now! And it's still like the busted up Pringles can. The one that's been dipped in a sewer as opposed to like the shiny new pink one. I don't like the shiny new pink one. We're going with that. There was absolutely no way I could resist. Ah, oh, master quarry machinism, please. Weapon damage, I don't care. Your power duration is much more fucking important. Especially when you're able to hack synths. Operating at peak efficiency, increasing the duration of her powers, modest cybernetics, and immuno enhances increase her health. Fuck yeah. Garrus can upgrade you at all? No, you literally just came out with us, huh? But at least you got armor piercing. No such thing as a boring part of a game. Rest it to- well, yeah, true. Especially when it's the greatest game of all fucking time. No such- um, no, but I'm not dead, so no complaints. <laughs> I'm glad, dude. I'm glad. It really suck if you die. Need that, uh, need that juicy, juicy watch time for me. If you die, please, like, uh, leave my tab open. Much appreciated. Requesting <laughs> permission to dock with Araya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. I wonder if We'd that's like more about the migrant fleet or about Rannoch itself. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. <laughs> I really love when, like, the one South African voice actor that Bioware has ever met, like, shows up throughout this game. He's got, like, four different roles, and it's all so obvious it's the same guy. This is just Donovan Hawk in a Korean suit. I killed you, Captain like, Shepard. 12 minutes ago. Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Commander, not captain? I'm not gonna be a complete piece of shit here. I, I, I gotta be nice. Shit, this is like the family, right? It's like meeting the in-laws, except the in-laws want both me and their own lady very much dead. I owe Tali a great deal. Tali helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. Oh, he just I wanted to be on even board ground board to me. Now. No, I'm much cooler than you, Cardano. It requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Tully, what? Uh, no, let's not question her. This seems like something we probably should have talked about on the way in, although I guess she had no idea what the hell she was on trial for. 
Oh, let's look like we're on the same page. It's gonna give us a little bit more of a uh, negotiation, bleh, negotiating ground. You think if I broke my nose, I would stop sneezing? Ah, uh, you might sneeze a little bit more than just goop. Might be a little bit more blood involved, maybe like shards of bone. I would avoid that one, Boko, but I'm not I'm not a doctor. Who knows? Maybe breaking your nose is the key to eternal life. Let's deal with that later, Tally. What's our next step, Captain? Technically, I'm under orders to place Tally Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tally, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Where's Garrus? Where's my boy? I gotta at least have someone I'm willing to fuck on board if this all goes alright. There he is. He just wasn't appearing in the fucking, uh, in the cutscene. Oh, they've got squiggly riding. Is that, is that worrying? Is that problematic? I, I, I don't know. It's an alien race. I could call them squigglies. Um, Captain Cardana. Who else have we got? It's just the captain? I guess we'll talk to the captain first. We should speak with that no, we won't. She's okay, fine. Her. Thank you. Oh, they've all got the sexy voice. Oh, no, just that one person has the sexy voice for one that whole line, because it's 2010. This is how we did Living Stand. Worlds back then. She's as good as convicted. And is that really... <laughs> Everything just sucks. Everywhere I go, it's just like, ah, oh, everyone's life is fucking ruined. God fucking damn it. Shala Ron. Oh, this is the sexy on, right? If I remember. Tali Zorovas, Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Since when did you become Vas Normandy? Conte Ron. Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. The Corians are the fucking Ron, best. You called me Vas Normandy. Because you're I'm never coming I back, Tully. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nemo. Are you part of the trial? You're an Admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. Far too big of a word for humans to understand. Seen. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Are you not the sexy aunt? Like, what is your history with Tali? I feel like we would have mentioned the relation by now if that was the case. Why does her name matter? I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you. Your nicknames are highly fucking illegal. It's ta I thought Tali was a nickname. Tali doesn't sound like a fucking full name. I don't I don't I don't, I don't know what the fuck it would be short for. Ta ta is is there already a name that's anywhere fucking close to that? I I, I don't fucking know. Either way. Can we just deal with the exile? These people sound like assholes. No one has nearly as sexy of his voice as Tali, so I don't even know why I'm here. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. That is like a 40 cigars a day so, kind of withered larynx. You would it's not even a wiggle down there. Speak for my defense. Of course, I'm fucking- <laughs> This is a horrible idea. I'm stupid. No, I'm on. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Telly. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. I mean, I don't know what Quarian law is. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. Names are complicated? I think they're getting even more complicated every single step we take into here, Boko. I don't think this is gonna go very well for me. I'm not nearly as well trained in the, uh, in the art of silver tonguing like I was at the, um, the last time I came or my last playthrough. And this seems pretty fucking important. What the hell? I've got a nuke strapped to my back. Do you think that's gonna improve my negotiating point? What if we just threaten to blow up, like, their fucking flagship as long as she could stay? Well, as long as she could stay? Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'll blow up your ship as long as you let her stay on the ship. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained <laughs> the other us, way around. and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. 
The accused Talia Zora of West Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involved. What the fuck? You're not a space Russian! What the hell is this guy? Then you should not have declared Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Talia's captain, Shepard must stay. What a fucking idiot. Can't wait to end him. Objection withdrawn. Shepard <laughs> West Normandy. Your crew member Talia Zora stands... I really like that LED mouths. Will you speak for her? Mouths get so much more exciting with the RGB. It is my pl <laughs> What's the point? It's my pleasure. If it helps Talia, I will. But in her heart, she remains Talia Zora of Asnima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... God, you are jacked for never being able to leave your fucking ship. Stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? She couldn't have done this. How could Tali have brought guests to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. You're telling me you but can't stomp on like a severed guests. arm crawling around Everything on its fingers? Disabled and harmless. What's the issue then explain here? Explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. We don't even know about this, and apparently neither did literally anyone. This dude's just spouting bullshit. None of this exists. What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally. The Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, You've got a lot of nerve! I thought Corians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Yes! Shepherd, you absolutely fucking should, you sentient wombers! The course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bosh it! <laughs> oh shit, I pissed her off! Death. This proposal is extremely dangerous. bosh was a little extreme there, Tali. I, I guess that's just their equivalent of bastard? It's, it sounds like their equivalent of bastard with a little bit of extra autism sprinkled in there. It's adorable, we must! Tali's sick. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is clear to these charges. Oh great, what a win-win situation. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. It's quite a lot easier to just you die on this difficulty, to be fair, so it works for me. It's Cinder and alone. At a secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return. Or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Sexy on? What the fuck is this? That can't. That must be her admiral or something. And that's like the history or whatever the fuck. What? So you can never even talk about the people on your own ship? Because surely there's got to be like some vying for power, Thank like you, power Admiral struggle in between the admirals, right? right? The admirals sound sure that my father. Tali's fucking powerful. Dead. Tali's got a lot of influence. I don't know. They could we quite easily want her exile just to make themselves dead. look bigger. Like as she stands right now, she's quite the preventer of massive quarry and dick swinging. There's the pole in the way that'll cause it to fracture. But if she's out of the way, they can do whatever the hell they want, and sexy aunt is gonna be nothing. Are you all right? Are you holding up. They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before. It seems so. Yeah, I agree, Boko. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I, I don't know. He, he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. Should we talk to people? Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? I'm so you glad I put my regular helmet back on. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are, but I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. We would have looked fucking awful if I was still wearing the Dorito hat. I can't believe it's called a death mask. Why is it? Why does it get such a cool name? 
when it's just like a big old 3D chunky triangle. I don't want Let's that. Right. I don't even get to see my the eyes. Get to the Alari, the sooner we'll know <laughs> Garrus has returned. What was he doing? He came back from pissing on their plants. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alari have likely built more of themselves. <gasps> Cal! Edie, I was a little fucking busy listening to you? No? That was important. Alright, whatever, let's talk to Cal. Shepard, it's Jane from Firefly again! Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our <laughs> This little tubey yeah, dreads. Things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Well, troubling for you if they kick you the fuck man. out? I just shoot things. <laughs> um, so what's going on with your presence on Raya? What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telizora. Sir, but dude, you just shoot things. Argue did. with your gun. It'll make my life just a lot easier. Facts, ma'am. Can you help someone Have somehow? You had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Hastrum. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alari. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. So if I didn't save you, what the hell would have happened? Because there was a big chance that you could die in that fucking mission. <laughs> I did everything in my fucking power. And I don't have a whole lot of fucking power to make sure that didn't happen. I'm amazed it even worked. P plants for the win.